below, the river here, J River 660, on YouTube. Well, it's been an eventful night and day. Well, not an event. Well, we'll start at the beginning. Look, we left the house around 11 o'clock last night to avoid the storm. And the reason, reasons I did that, it was a judgment call on my part. But they said to be careful, it was a class four. Category four um, hurricane, hurricane Matthew, and uh, well, a little more than half our park was cleared out, our mobile home park, and I thought, uh, is it wiser to go on the safe side or? So we went in search for a hotel. First we went west, then we went north. Um, this morning we ended up in southern Georgia. And my wife called and we rested for a little bit in uh, um, Walmart parking lot, which there were a few other cars and and uh, campers and such there, and so we spent about two hours napping there. Tina didn't get a nap. She's beat. She wants to get home and go to bed. Probably take a shower and go to bed, but maybe just go to bed. I know I'm going to take a shower. And anyway, after we got up from our nap. Tina called one of our neighbors that stayed and they said, no, oh, there's no problem at all. And it was just like I figured it. We were just outside the area in which it was going to be destructive. But I erred on the side of safety rather than being uh, stupidly brave, I guess you'd say. But, oh well, it was an, we made an adventure out of it. And actually, on the way home, for lunch, we found a really cool Mexican restaurant that had some really good food. And I tell you what, even though there are a lot of Mexican restaurants in Kissimmee, there aren't very many good ones. We haven't found one yet. We had to go 120 miles away from home or farther find a halfway decent restaurant. Yeah. We stopped at a truck stop to get our gas up in Wildwood. You know, around these parts of... There's no gas at the gas station. So, oh yeah, there's a citrus tower. I don't think the camera can pick it up. But we might still be doing this video by the time we get there, depending on the lights, I suppose. We are now entering Claremont. So we've been through here before, a while back. I prob oh, yeah, that's probably closed today. Lots of things are closed because of the hurricane. And uh, the closer you get to Osceola, and we're in Orange County now, so Orange County has a curfew, so businesses like that Donut King that's got a whole bunch of people there buying donuts shouldn't be open. <laughs> well, I think it only goes till 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Well, it goes till 7 a.m. tomorrow, Saturday. So... Hey, we hit a green light. I'm going to go ahead and face you guys forward. <clears throat> and, of course, us people from Michigan, we know better. It takes a lot more than a 
little weather to stop us from doing business. There, now you can see the citrus tower. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go. Ooh, there's one of those smoke houses on here. That's new. That's a lot closer than the other one. Um, so we'll go ahead and let you go. Have a great, wonderful day, and we'll see you later. TTFN. Bye-bye.